I mean, it's, it's life, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's, it's you wake up and look forward to the weekend. Derby County means everything. It, it's, it's a club that we love, it's a club that support gives me a sense of belonging in terms of belonging to this fan base. It's a roller coaster. The highs are absolutely unbelievable. Yeah! 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 But the lows are pretty low. Without it, I'd be lost. Um, but with it, we take the highs and the lows, and it's like it's almost like a, an extra family member, isn't it? Really, it's like your own son. You feel like you're part of something. That's how I'd summarise it. Do you want me to say that again? Yes, Okay. Hello, I'm Sue Titley. I'm a Derby County season ticket holder in the South Stand. I'm Dominic Dietrich, uh, presenter of Sports Scene on BBC Radio Derby. So my name is Vic Singh. I'm a Derby County season ticket holder in the South Stand. Go to quite a few away games. I'm also the Rams Talk co-host on the podcast as well. And uh, yeah, a Derby County fanatic. Why do I support Derby County? Um, long story, met my now husband a um, long, long time ago and he got me into watching Derby County. Loved going to the baseball ground, um, meeting up with a group of friends, going to those backstreet social clubs, um, backstreet pubs, just the balls of going, brilliant. Absolutely love it. Wow, um, I, I guess it's where you grow up, isn't it? You su support your local team. And then it was actually my friend that brought me to a game and Pesky Salido scored a last minute uh, winner. Or no, it was an equaliser, I think. It was against Luton, I feel like. Someone will correct me. Um, and I, ever since then, I just got the bug. My, one of my happiest memories, it was obviously the 5 0 Forest win here. Uh, just because that was my first local derby that I'd been to properly. Um, and what a game to pick. But my, one of my main happiest memories is the fact that I can bring my family to the games as well. So it's literally started off with just me and my uncle that we used to attend games. Now it's the whole family thing. And it's nice because it gives me the balance of supporting the club that I love, but also sharing that time with the family. Because I think nowadays we don't get enough time to spend with family. My happiest memory was taking my four-year-old son to Pride Park. Um, we watched QPR. We lo sadly, we lost 4-2, but it didn't matter. It was his first game, first game of many. Um, and that's, you know, the, the whole, as a family, we go to watch the games. He got the same buzz, the same passion that we've all got. Um, yeah, and it's, it's gone from there. The lowest moment I felt was probably the day we went into administration, um, just because, despite what was going on at the club, I thought that we probably would never be in that position. But it, it was a realisation when it actually come through that, yeah, we're in administration, we've been deducted 21 points. Uh, the fact that we could lose the club, that's what was uh, really depressing about that whole scenario. That's probably the lowest point. It's that feeling, isn't it? It's like, surely this doesn't happen to your club and, and surely other rumours aren't true. And then it is just that reality check, isn't it? And it was, it's heartbreaking. You don't, you don't want your club or you don't want anyone close to you to ever be in a situation where they could never be there again. And it's, it's, you compare it to almost like a person in your family. It's something that you hold very dear. And I think when you see something special being put into that position. You want to try and think of ways to help and unfortunately you can't do so. Yeah, um, I can't watch the videos without tears in my eyes, if I'm honest. Um, just looking back, I waited at the cockpit for the, you know, I could just hear the fans coming from the bus station, beating of the drums, Punjabi Rams were there. It was just, it, uh, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable really. It was, it was a roller coaster of emotions. I always thought we might be saved, but the longer the saga went on, all the, the Kirchner stuff, and 
uh, the months of just not knowing what was going on with Quantum and all that. It was just it was just a bit of a a weird time to be a fan, uh, just because we didn't know what the next day would bring with us. So yeah. To be honest, before the game, it was all about where, where's the march starting <laughs> and trying to find that. And then it, it wasn't very hard to find at all because there were thousands on thousands of Derby County fans gathered in the city centre. So it was making sure as part of that, um, going on the walk with everyone and just looking at the sheer numbers. Um, 10,000 people walking along the along Pride Parkway was, was such an immense scene to see. It was just such an immense thing to be a part of. Um, and then obviously the game itself, 2-2, uh, being licked last minute, Equaliser, bicycle kick. It was like almost written in the stars when it coming back from injury and he gets the the equaliser. So there was euphoria, the fact that we got the point, um, sadness because we thought this might be the last time we might get to see might get to see Derby County. Um, it was just a range of emotions. But again, I wouldn't trade that day for anything because I think that was probably the defining day for us in terms of this whole saga. It was it was unbelievable, really. And just thousands and thousands of Derby fans, everybody just singing away. Um, you know, everybody loved Derby. And we just marched over there. It was just, yeah, yeah, very emotional, I would say. Probably wouldn't survive if I'm honest with you. Like, football for me is everything. I live, breathe, and sleep Derby County. Without it, I'd be very lost. I'd, I'd feel like I'd have no purpose. Um, so it's really central to what I, what I do in my everyday life. It's very, I find it very difficult in the off season with no football to watch. That's hard enough. But to not come here every Saturday and not see Derby, not see the Rams, um, no. Derby County means everything. It, it's, it's a club that we love, it's a club that support gives me uh, a sense of belonging in terms of belonging to this fan base. It's also given me uh, the opportunity to not just have to compromise my identity as well. As you can tell, I'm a, I'm a Toby Murray Sikh as well. Short summary, uh, what does it mean to me? I mean, it's, it's life, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's, it's you wake up and look forward to the weekends, even still in my role, I, I wake up and I think it was actually my mum on, on uh, obviously not Boxing Day, because I played on the 27th this year, but mum was like, oh, you've got to go to work. I was like, yeah, but I, I, it's bolting away, really, isn't it? <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like work. So, um, look, I love the club. I think everybody watching this, if they're Derby County fans, will, will know exactly how you feel. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you feel like you're part of something. That's how I'd summarise it. Oh, gosh. In one word. <laughs> if, I was, if I were to stick to the theme, I'd say family, uh, just because it gives me that family feel, gives me a sense of belonging. Um, but then no two days are the same at Derby County, so yeah. <laughs> Can you describe what it's like to support Derby in one word? Passion. This might be a difficult one. Can you describe Derby County in one word? Uh, special. Derby County, we're fighting, yeah.